Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got a video for you today. If you like overlanding, off-roading, you go camping and you need an extra power source, I'm gonna show you the power of these LifePo 4 batteries and why you should get one. And I've got one today that's gonna blow your mind. I really love these batteries and they have so many uses. So we're gonna check this one out and we're gonna go over its uses. All right, y'all, if you're looking for a powerful, lightweight, long-lasting battery for off-road, camping, or boating, the Greener Power 12 volt, 100 amp hour LifePo 4 might be what you're looking for. So this battery is built with EV grade lithium cells and it's a smart 100 amp BMS for maximum performance. And of course the BMS is that safety feature. Unlike traditional lead acid batteries, the Greener Power weighs only 22.5 pounds, making it super easy to carry. It even has these nifty lifting handles and obviously it comes with the post for you. Um, it fits standard group 24 battery boxes, making it good for RVs, boats, trolling motors, etc. And um, this thing lasts up to 15,000 charge cycles. Y'all, that's a lot of charge cycles. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go over some basic stuff with it. A lot of people are like, well, how I have a, I have an existing solar generator. Maybe you have a EcoFlow, maybe you have an Anchor, maybe you have a Blue Yeti and um, you want to basically you know how you can buy the expandable batteries but they're really expensive this is an affordable option for you to do i'm going to show you how it how it works and how to do that but over here you have the charger it's really easy to use you put these frog clips on the positive and negative it's either red for charging or green for charge it's super simple this is going to simplify your life when you're out on the trail you can double your power almost triple your power on your um solar generator and you can use this for a myriad of things whether you're doing it to act as a second battery for that solar generator whether you're using it for your diesel heater you want to charge your phones um, there's just a lot of different things you can do to it and i'm going to show you how to do it because i think it's the most cost effective way to do it and greener power is a great option for uh, for you to do this um, we're all about cost effective um, off-roading and powering your accessories so let's get to it let's check it out and let's see what we can do with it all right, guys, so it's as, as simple as hooking these alligator clips up. I just want to show you real quick. Charger is on green. You just plug it into the wall outlet here, and you wait for these to charge up. Once it's green, we'll get to testing. All right, guys, so we're going to use our greener power battery, and what I want to do is I want to expand the storage on this. Um, this is my All Powers uh brand irrelevant this battery um by greener power is going to be used to gosh almost almost triple uh the capacity here and i kind of want to show you how i'm going to do that i'm going to be using an uh noco m10 connector and it's what you can see right here okay so all it is is a cigarette lighter connector um, and it goes to the positive and to the negative. It's got a 20 amp mini fuse, which is really nice. Um, so in case something happened between these two, it will cut the fuse, cut the power, no damage, no harm, no nothing like that. You're gonna need a means to charge this like a car charger, which I have here, and it's gonna be really easy. So check this out. All we're gonna do is once once your battery is inputted um we're gonna go like this we're gonna turn this on so you can see it's already powered but that shouldn't really matter for this test we're gonna plug this in here um and this is just the 12 to 60 volt um uh, solar or car charger input and the reason let me let me backtrack real quick the reason why i like the noco um for this application is it's heavy duty uh, it's a heavy duty wire um, so you can see here that the wires, I believe are 14 gauge, um, the terminal connectors are heavy duty and it's got an inline fuse. Now you could probably put something like this together or you could pick up a cheap one, but just remember, you know, you know, you get what you pay for kind of like that. So I have a heavy duty one here and I want to show you how easy this is to, so basically if this is powering your solar I'm sorry, if this is powering your diesel heater or any type of accessories and you're running low on battery, 
this battery is 1280 watt hours. It is going, this is only 600. So this is going to essentially go, I mean, so uh, theoretically two and some two times and some change with this one. So when this one's 600, really because of all this gadgetry right here, it's really, you know, probably minus 20% of that. So maybe this is really only going to be pushing 500 um, watt, uh, watts total, right? And this one's 1,280. So you're truly getting double your horsepower, right? I mean, double your horsepower um, when you add this together. And it's as simple as this, guys. Um, and this is, this is the easiest way to expand your battery um, when you are off-roading, going out. So check that out. It's as easy as that. We're getting pure input right there and you now have effectively just doubled your storage capacity um way cheaper than buying another one of these right these can be expensive these batteries are very um inexpensive to buy and i mean this is the easiest way so whether you're overlanding you're camping um you know the power goes out home storage solar whatever it may be these batteries are extremely useful but i tell you what the best bang for your buck in order to make one of these solar generators go a little bit longer is to have the lifepo 4 battery and this one works really well with the greener power and you can see that this is working perfectly okay so if you need to run stuff for multiple days or overnight I mean, you're talking, this could, this could run this for at least three times its life almost. Um, so remember this is double, double this unit. This unit still has about 500 watts. So, you know, give or take, um, depending on what you're running and how many watts it's pulling, it looks like we have a constant watt input of 45 watts. Just to give you an example, a solar, uh, I'm sorry, a, uh, diesel generator normally pulls about 30. Um, so I mean, it could probably run for a couple days depending on how how much power that generate uh, the the diesel heaters pulling so this is a great option and uh, just another way to kind of show you how this works here too is if you're out on the trail and you need to power your phone you can go ahead plug that sucker right in there and you also can power your phone so if you don't have one of these and you just have and you just have the battery guess what you got a way to power your accessories um, you can also pick up um, inverters for these. So if you wanted those AC plugs, and you can. But it is it is literally as easy as that. You pick up one of these. They're multi-purpose. Um, I like it for the use uh, with the solar generator because I can pair these together. I've got plugs and all that stuff, and now I can last two to three days out doing whatever without having to recharge this because the LifePo 4 is just powering that generator up so that's just one really awesome way to do it i'm going to show you a couple other ways that we're going to run our fridges and show you how this thing will power our diesel heater as well so again best bang for your buck right here all right guys so in order to power my big old bogar v fridge um we're going to use the greener power um the life po 4 but the way i'm going to do it is i'm actually going to hook this in for the supplemental power because this is only 600 um 600 watt hours which is actually really low and this is going to basically triple this and we're going to see we're going to start it it is what is this it is today it is it is noon so i need to make sure this fridge runs all the way until tomorrow and until we get home so what we're going to do is i'm going to take heat, this like this we're going to plug this in here we're going to take the DC charger for the fridge, we're gonna pop it in here. All right, so let me see, let me turn. That should turn that on. Let me see if that'll um, kick on for the output. So you can already see here, um, this is actually uh, charging right now. So, AC output. Let's see. I just want to see. Uh, I forget which one turns my switch on here. It's actually showing no output. USB C. This is D. Oh, right there. So this does say DC. So this would be DC there. So let me see here. 
Ah, it says 12.4 volts. So the cool thing about this fridge is it's actually not going to kick on until the compressor needs to. As long as that maintains um, the temperature that I have set it at, we should be good. So we'll come and check this in a little bit. But for now, the batteries powering this and this is powering the fridge and it'll be uh, a continuous cycle. So basically we just expanded this for less than $300, right? Cause these are much less expensive than that. So pretty cool. You can do this and we'll check up on it in just a little bit. All right guys, so just woke up. Um, just wanted to show you that the how the battery did all night with uh, it being on since noon yesterday and it's uh, 7.32 in the morning the next day. Fridge is maintaining temperature. Power still good here. We've got the battery still hooked up. All right, everyone, so after a further review and using this um, out camping, I think um, this is one of the best purchases you can make to expand your storages. These LifePo 4 batteries are awesome. They last a long time. Uh, it lasted all night with my fridge. It recharged my, um, it recharged the anchor after we were sucking down some juice making coffee. And at the end of the day, um, again, I did pair this greener power with the NOCO, and this thing did the job. It is as simple as grabbing one of these, expand your storage. You can use it for a plethora of things to include those solar panel projects that you guys got as well. So check them out, y'all. Greener power. Appreciate you watching the video. Hope this helped. Hope this gave you guys an idea, and God bless.